What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. Today I'm excited to announce our new Blender add-on, Atmospheric. Atmospheric is a very simple and easy to use Blender add-on that you can use to populate your 3D worlds or visual effects shots with over 50 live action, fog, smoke, and steam elements. We've shot these 2D elements on our red digital cinema camera within a blackout film studio in Los Angeles in order to provide a very high quality element for use in your 3D work. In addition to this, all of the elements are pre-looped, so they're very easy to just grab and bring into your scene very quickly and just place wherever you want in your 3D world. So in this short intro video, I'm just going to go through the Blender Market page and share a little bit about this add-on in addition to showing how you can install it and then get started in adding your first element to your 3D world. So this is our Blender Market page for the add-on. You can see that we have several different licenses available. Probably most of you guys will just need the single user license, but it depends, of course, on how big your studio is or if you're just a freelancer but I'll just scroll through our page here to show you a little bit about this add-on if you watch this channel you'll know that I'm a huge fan of integrating real live action elements into your CG scenes in order to bridge the gap between CG and photorealism so I found that having these atmospheric elements is a really great way to add that extra bit of detail that's needed to create a little bit more realistic or stylistic touch so this is just a little example city scene that we've made to show off how you can use these assets in your 3d worlds you can see we have you know over 50 fog and steam elements that you can add very easily through the add-on and place them into your scene. Again, we've shot these on red digital cinema cameras and you can see them in action in this little preview window here. And one of the reasons we wanted to make these atmospheres is because a lot of the atmospheric elements that you'll find online have those hard edges that are hard to take out of your 3D shot. So we made these elements as clean as possible with no hard edges so you can simply place them into your scene without having to deal with any hard seams that may be distracting. So all of these assets, as you can see here, are optimized for both cycles and EV rendering engines here and they're all pretty keyed and ready to go inside a blender once you install the add-on you can very easily just import them into your scene one by one and add that nice moving smoke element that will really bring your shot to the next level so this is the first version of the add-on we've collaborated with the talented Carlos Barreto in creating the user interface for this add-on and we are planning on adding some more features to this add-on as well as we move forward in our development so without further ado I'll show you guys how you can install atmospheric inside a blender so the first version of this add-on that you'll download from Blender Market will be called Atmospheric 0.07. So go ahead and download that file into a folder of your choice. Once you've done that, you just go into Blender here. You'll go to Edit, Preferences, and then you'll navigate to your add-on tabs here and then click on install. And then you'll navigate to where you've saved that file. Go ahead and select it without unzipping anything and click on install add-on. And now it should pop up here in this window, but if it doesn't, you can just search for it in the search bar here. Just type in atmospheric and it should pop up as well. And now we can just select the checkbox here to enable the add-on and go ahead and close this window. And now as you can see here, if we navigate to our right tab and we scroll down here to the bottom, we have our atmospheric tab. It's a very simple tab to use. You can just choose which genre of smoke elements that you'd like to use. So for example, you can use the lingering fog elements, which we have a variety of here. And then of course, you know, all of these other ones as well. You have your upward steam, your heavy steam, and then your low steam loops as well. And I'll go ahead and open up a little project file here to show you how they work a little bit nicer. So I just have this very basic shot of this vent and I wanted to show you how you can very easily add one of these atmospheric elements to this vent and then also show you how to track the element toward the camera so it will work a bit better for those shots with a lot more 3D parallax around the element. So I'll go ahead and navigate to our atmospheric tab here. And for this specific example, I'll use an element from our upward steam loops collection. So select that and I'll just use this fourth one right here. Go ahead and select that. And then we'll select our 3D cursor where we want to actually add the element into our scene. And then we'll click on add. And now as you can see here, a 2D card has come into our scene. And this might be a little bit weird at first, but you can see if we go into rendered view, our element is in 3D space on a 2D card, which is a really nice way to add these atmospheres to your scene. It's all pre keyed and ready to go so we can just kind of line it up to the center of our vent here you can scale it up here a bit if you'd like maybe place it a little bit more inside of the vent itself and right now we're working in our real-time rendering engine Eevee but these also work nicely in cycles as well and for this specific scene setup I've also added a basic HDRI for the environment so that's what's actually lighting up the smoke but you can see if we just play through our scene it's a pretty nice little smoke element that's looped and ready to go. One thing you might want to do is just increase the apparent density of the steam. So to do that is pretty simple here. We'll just go to our shading tab with our steam element selected. 
This is our very simple node setup for the Steam. And you can do a few things to adjust how the Steam looks. You can, of course, you know, adjust the RGB curves, make the Steam a little bit less thick if you like. But what I'm actually going to do is add a little bit more density to it. So to do that, you could either increase our RGB curves up further, or in this specific case, I might just press Shift A and add a color hue saturation value node right after our RGB curves node. And then I can just increase this value here to say 1.6. And now all of a sudden we have a much denser looking element, which is quite nice. So maybe I'll just boost this all the way up to two. And now you can see here, if we go into render view, it's just a much denser loop. So finally, the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to track these elements to the camera that's in your scene. This is a really nice way you can make sure that when your camera goes sideways to your 2D element, that the element itself actually stays aligned toward the camera. So all you have to do to do this is just select your element and then if there's a camera in your scene this button will pop up that says align to camera and you can just select that and now as you can see here if we play through our scene our steam element is always aligned up right to our camera and all that's happening here is as our camera moves around our 2d element is staying tracked to it and of course you can you know reposition this as you like as well if you want it a little bit closer to the camera but this is the general idea Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy our atmospheric add-on. I think you'll find it really useful to add that extra bit of texture or mood to your projects. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to learn next on the channel, and I'll see you next time.